principle, you could answer any question. So you understand what is a necessity, what does it mean here? When we say that it is permissible to eat what is haram when it is a necessity. What does that mean? Is open check here, open door? What is it? So we need to understand that. And we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, alhamdulillah, that he made us to, um, to preserve our soul as much as we can. We can't really expose our soul to danger. And uh, uh, so he had actually here brought us the hadith of uh, Abdullah ibn Umar when he said, Inna Allah, Prophet he said, Allah loves for us, uh, for his concession to be embarked upon, uh, just like in the same way that his sin is to be avoided. So just like he hates his sins to be embarked upon, as much as the same thing, the same strength he loves for you to t embark upon his concessions. Um, well, it, it is not just a rukhsa. This is more than a rukhsa. It's not more, more than a concession. As we just seen now, it could be like, it is com compulsory upon you. If you're going about to die, it's compulsory upon you to eat from that dead animal in order to survive. But we want to make sure that what are the conditions that makes it permissible for us to eat such haram thing or to step over to something haram in the time of necessity. What are the conditions? Those are the ones which shall make it clear for us. Uh, number one, condition number one is that the person, he is in a, you know, uh, in a necessity which is, has taken place already. It's not he wants to talk about necessity that he will be into later on. So it is a necessity that is taking place. A necessity that is being pushed into it. Not he himself designed it in order for him to take the haram. In order for himself to, to, to put himself in a, in, a, in a place where he could eat haram, do haram. That's not a necessity. So a necessity in the future is not correct. So for those who say that, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, for me, that is for the sisters now, they want to study medicine for the sake of that. You know, if my wife wants to go to a doctor, they should find a female doctor. So that's a necessity for us to make our daughters to go ahead and study medicine, even though there is disaster mixing in the universities. So that's a necessity. We say to them, no, it is not a necessity because this is something to do, which is not happening. This is something you're talking about in a future. In something which is not happening to you. So it's not correct to use this principle in order to, uh, for example, allow for yourself to go into mortgage haram because, uh, you, you, you know, putting a rent all the time, you're wasting the money. So it's better to have a house because it's a necessity. So let me go to the mortgage. That's not correct. So that's number one. So we say that the necessity is something that's taken place already, that you've been put into it. You did not design it. You did not put yourself in. It's not allowed for you to go and put yourself into necessity. Okay? It's not allowed for you to go, for example, into the desert, okay, without having food with you. You can't just say, oh, I'll just go to the desert. It doesn't matter because even if I'm uh, out of food, uh, uh, I've got some dead animals lying around, lots of carcass uh, and carrions. I could really eat from them. That's not co correct. So we're not going to do like that uh, all the time. I forget his name. The one who they take him in a helicopter and they put him in a place. Was that Azahed? Uh, yeah, Grills. Yeah, Grills, whatever his name is. Yeah. By the way, your sound is not really correct, by the way. You're not well, really. Bear Grills. Yeah. So could you just talk like this? It's better like that. <laughs> Bear Grills. Okay. Right. So that's, I mean, we're not going to be doing like this, even for a show. It's not allowed. Uh, second one is that you didn't find any halal food, even if it's one morsel. So it's one piece. So if you are in a place where there is no food and you're about to die, and you found, for example, a piece of, let's say, uh, uh, something that you don't like, but it's halal, something you don't like. You can't just say, because I don't like it, let me try this dead, uh, dead sheep. No, no, you, know, you have to eat that little bit. And that little bit is enough for you. You can't eat more from the haram. So that there is no halal food left. And there is no halal, not just food, halal alternatives. You did not consume. You did not uh, approach before you went to the haram. So not just to do with the food and anything. So, 
So before you go and let's say that you are in desperation now, you need money, you're about to die. So before you go buy, borrow from the bank, which is haram because you're going to entail riba, you have to exhaust all your resources regarding having halal money whether it's a loan from somebody or you write and you give him, for example, a, a guarantor or something that you, you're going to, you know, like something that you give him for, for him to give you the money. You go to the halal and then after you exhausted that there's no halal, then the haram because you're, it's a necessity. Third issue is that uh, if that uh, person had a re reached a stage where he is, dying and the eating from the dead animal is not going to help him he should not eat so he's, he's not supposed to be reaching a sort of a limit where he can't eat and then you, you, you eat you can't eat you can't swallow so he should not be a person who's about to die uh, where the the dead animal will not benefit him he's easy he is in some strength but he's about to die he's, 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 sorry he's, he's gonna die if he does not eat but he's not about to die, and his, the food was not going to do him anything. He's going to die. The fourth condition is that he does not find, uh, as we, well, that's included in the second, she does not find a money from the Muslim or anybody else, even if it's non-Muslim, to give him and to uh, support him. Uh, finally, is that the necessity is according to, to what is enough to support you. Meaning, so if I'm about to die and I find a carrion and I'm eating from it, I will eat what supports me. I don't really consider that to, my, to be, mashallah, fresh meat. Let me just, because it looks, tastes nice, let me eat more. No, you eat uh, what is enough for you to survive. That's what it is. So all these uh, six conditions that we have mentioned. Uh, okay, the fifth one. The sixth one also, that that food you're going to eat is not poison. It's going to kill you. So you find poison. Let me just support myself and eat poison. Poison is going to kill you straight away. So the the the, 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 uh, is, the food is not going to be, uh, you're basically going to harm you. Yes, the carrying harms was not going to harm you as in kill you. It's going to make you survive. You know, I mean, that person you have just mentioned his name, he had eaten lots of dead animals. He's not dead. But if, you had, if he had eaten poison, he'll die. So that food has not, should not be, the one you're going to eat, is so harmful that they're going to expose you to death. You're trying to help yourself out of the death. So those are the six conditions that I could gather here to make sure that you understand this word necessity.